I think it's safe to say that Mark Calloway, The Undertaker, is expressing his opinions and why I believe is 100% true. The Undertaker explains why he struggles to enjoy the current WWE product. And I don't blame him one bit for expressing his true feelings about the current product. Your name, Mark Holloway, appeared as a guest on the latest episode of John Rogan Experience Podcast, where he spoke for more than two hours on a wide variety of topics. At one point in a clip that he stated, I mean, he started to make rounds on social media, Rogan asked the dead man if he still follows and enjoys WWE's current television product. He says he still watches but admitted enjoying the show is a struggle. I try to enjoy it as a fan. It's tough for me because the product has changed so much and it's kind of soft, Holloway said. Immediately agreeing with Rogan that he'll probably get in trouble for the comment. I'll probably piss a lot of people off, but they need to hear it. It is what it is. But to the young guys, oh, he's bitter. Oh, he's a bitter old guy. I'm not bitter. Well, I'm not bitter. I did my time. I'm good. I walked away when I wanted to walk away. I just think the product is a little soft. These guys here and there that have an edge to them, but... They're too much, I'm too much pretty and not enough substance right now. So, basically, he's he's telling you how bad the product is right now. And the fact that the ratings have been continuously go down the drain, it really lets you know that Vince McMahon really needs to step away. I mean, like Mark Holloway said, he did his time in the WWE. He's happy that he's a retired, you know, a retired wrestler. I mean, retired wrestler, excuse me. And the fact that, you know, people are going to be saying, oh, he's just an old, bitter person. No, when somebody has an opinion about the product where they're telling the truth, maybe you should take that into consideration instead of judging on his true, whether he gets in trouble for not, he said what he needed to say. And people need to understand it. <laughs> 2020 saw Callaway announce his retirement during the finale on the Last Ride documentary series, then was given a final farewell send-off during the Survivor Series back in November. He admitted in the interviews that he loved to keep wrestling, but his body won't allow him to physically stay in the ring shape anymore. And for me, I personally felt like it was the right thing for him to retire on time because he's getting older, he's in his 50s, and he shouldn't be continuing putting his body at risk unless he wants to, unless it's his call, not ours. But he made his final say. He made it his final decision to retire. And he did it his way, you know. And I really wish the fans would just accept that. I think a lot of people saw this uh, invisible character. And what this year has done is given an air of... Mark Holloway said while speaking with Yahoo Sports, it really wasn't my original goal, but I do think it's, okay, I, I don't even understand these words, so I'm just going to skip that, how important it was for me to be the undertaker for our fans. For the time that we started the doc, I think it showed what it took me physically to get out of, uh, to out and what it took me um, physically to go out and honor that. That was the gist of where we took the story, how important it was for me to go out and perform, and it was a natural segue into the person. There's so many words I cannot pronounce, so when I see something I can't pronounce right, I'm just going to skip it because I already know what he's trying to say, that he really loves going out performing for the fans and it's his job is his his family he's been doing it since years so i still have the passion to do it i wish i could do it forever he later added when i watch the shows or or i'm there live 
um, the juices started flowing and I feel like I have to get ready to go out and perform. The reality of the situation is that I'm not physically able to perform at the level I wanted to perform at. I could go out there and cash in, cash in on all of equality I built up over 30 years, I mean over 30 years, but I can't deliver physically what I think people pay money to see the Undertaker could do. He's basically saying that he loves the business, he loves to continue wrestling, but he can't. And he says that when the juices start flowing, when it's time for him to go out to perform, you know, he wants to give it his best to make sure the fans are satisfied. That they pay actual money to see The Undertaker do his thing. So, my overall thoughts on The Undertaker's opinion on the current product. I think he's absolutely right. Because in order for them to get better, they need to change how they used to be. And Raw said that they were going to go to TV14 route. Be more edgy, be more adult-like content. And I don't think I can see that happening because knowing Vince McMahon and them, they will never, ever go TV-14 since it's all quote-unquote family-friendly. And all of that needs to change, like, very soon. And like I said, I hope they change. Well, I don't know, man. But regardless, I really do think Undertaker is right. I agree 100% on what his opinion is on and Hopefully, people won't crap on him for that because he spoke the truth. So, tell me what you guys think. I will have the article in the description box so you guys can check it out. And uh, I guess I will see you in my second video.